we will be talking about the ultrasound examination of the heart, blood vessels and abdominal organs. So um, uh, before this already um, Jane has spoken uh, about the indications, um, what an ultrasound basically detects and how the procedure is done. So, uh, so as not to repeat what she has said, I'm just going to elaborate on some of her points. And uh, yeah, and I will be also talking about uh, what the different organs uh, look like during uh, norm and then during pathology and the different positions uh, for that is specific for each ultrasound technique. Starting off, we're going to go with the ultrasound of the heart. For ultrasound of the heart, you have four different positions. Um, first of all, you have the parasternal long axis. So in the case of parasternal long axis, this is what the ultrasound basically looks like. And you have uh, the right ventricle, left ventricle, uh, aorta root, left atrium. And yeah, so this is a uh, just an image, a drawing of how it's supposed to look like. But next we have um, what the what an actual ultrasound will look like. The same image but with an actual ultrasound so yeah this is the pa parasternal long axis view next we have the parasternal short axis view so in this view you can see how the probe for the ultrasound has changed positions uh, and you can see the right ventricle left ventricle and the papillary muscles so this is a different view of the heart and this is um, the same thing except a real image of it. You get the right ventricle, left ventricle and papillary muscles. Next we have the apical view of the heart. Again the probe has changed its position on the human body and you can see a different view of the heart. Right ventricle, left ventricle, right atrium and left atrium. Moving on, this is an actual image of it. Next we have the subxiphoid view. Again, the probe has changed positions and you have the right atrium, right ventricle, left atrium and left ventricle. This is a real life image of it. Next we have, I've uh, listed a few pathologies just to see the difference between the norm and the, uh, the pathology specifically. So you have here hypertrophic cardiomyopathy and this is what an ultrasound would look like. Next, uh, there's a presence of a clot in the heart. And next, we have a cardiac tam tamponade or uh, when there is pericardial effusion present. Moving on, um, this is what the two positions of um, the two positions that are basically taken when doing a, a cardiac ultrasound or echocardiograph. So um, the position uh, usually in both cases, uh, the patient lies in the same position. That is, the patient lies on the bed on the left side, while the doctor can change of, can be in two different positions, either on the right side of the patient or left side of the patient. And in the specific cases, this is how the uh, examiner should work about. This is another image of the same thing. Next, um, we have ultrasound of blood vessels. So I've uh, put, put up here uh, pictures of normal, how a normal um, blood vessel should look like in an ultrasound. Next, moving on, you have plaque formation over here showing uh, the two images. Um, one is a normal blood flow and a normal blood flow due to plaque deposition. And next over here, it's a Doppler ultrasound showing blockage of the left superficial femoral vein. So we've moved down to the leg now by a thrombosis. And next I've uh, put up here different positions. So the position for ultrasound for blood vessels actually changes a lot for uh, depending on uh, the different vessels that you're going to check. First, I've put, a p put up a picture of uh, the position for scanning carotid arteries. Then we move on for the specific positions of the popliteal and leg veins. So over here, uh, this is the different positions for the popliteal vein, this one as well. And over here you have uh, the position for the perineal vein. 
Moving on, uh, we're going to talk about the abdominal organs, so abdominal ultrasound. So this is a picture of a normal abdominal ultrasound with the gallbladder and the liver. So here, depending on the position of the probe, the view of the organs changes. So over here, you can see a, a really good picture of the spleen. Here, liver and gallbladder. Here, liver and right kidney. Then I've uh, included some pictures of different pathologies. So you have a normal liver and a liver during cirrhosis. Then here we have a normal gallbladder and the formation of a gallstone. And this is a, the picture of a polycystic kidney disease. And this is a normal liver and a fatty liver. So these are the different positions for ultrasound of abdomen and the different positions of the probe depending on what organ you would like to specifically view. And this is also um, the same thing, different positions that are usually taken during uh, ultrasound. So here there's an elaboration, supine, prone, right lateral decubitus, left, left lateral decubitus, right posterior oblique, left posterior oblique, sitting semi-erect and sitting erect. So that will be all for today. Thank you.